one of her ex-girlfriends from out of town gonna call me on and talk about some take my woman off your page. This is not your girl. Woo woo do wah wah. Morgan M channel welcome back if you are new here welcome to the real Morgan M welcome to my channel as you can see we in a new scenery <laughs> okay new scenery new vibe just different we're doing a bed talk today and the bed talk is gonna be about the story time about how I met my first girlfriend ex-girlfriend now but y'all wanted this story i'm here to deliver it boom boom bam if you are new to this channel make sure that you like comment and subscribe and also follow my other platforms down below and be a part of the moody gang because we just turned over here we lit over here you name it that's us yeah so i am eating as well McAllister's, their chipotle chicken spud delicioso thank you McAllister's for giving me this food um for freezy freezy i appreciate that it's delicious so let's get into this video about my experience dating the girl and how it ended how it started all that and advice <laughs> let's get started how did i meet my girlfriend so ex-girlfriend did not mean to say girlfriend my ex-girlfriend so um, she had followed me on Twitter, y'all, and I can't deny at the time we only had like one common follower, so I was kind of like skeptical about following her back because I thought she was a catfish. Yes, I thought she was catfish because she was just too fun, and I was just like, damn, like this the kind of female I like. So like, if I want to be serious with one, like it would be her. So I was like, man, somebody trying to play me. Like I don't know. So you know, she would like say stuff to me like publicly on Twitter and stuff like that. So he's going back and forth or whatever. And then she ended up sliding my DMs, right? And I guess I had tweeted like I was going to take a nap or something before I did something. And she was like, well, go ahead and take your nap. But when you wake up, here's my number. So I'm like, dang. I'm like, this bitch got gay. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up texting her that same day, y'all. Uh, and like, it was just weird. Like we connected so quickly. And, um, we actually end up meeting each other the first time we started texting each other. So obviously it was at a public place. It was at my friend's Mexican restaurant. Um, I had her meet me there because my friend was bartending at her um, boyfriend's restaurant and he was working too. So it was like, I had people looking out for me to make sure like nothing happened to me. Cause I thought the girl was a catfish for real y'all. I haven't FaceTimed her or anything like in the midst of us like about to meet up that night. So I was just like, I need to be somewhere safe and I need to be somewhere where it's people that know me. So then that way I can be taking So I got my tequila here. So she came to the club, y'all. Went to the Mexican restaurant and we was just talking. Um, we had made, I got her a drink cause she told me what she liked to drink. And I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is cause it would give it away. But yeah, I got her a drink. We were drinking, just socializing and stuff, and just vibing out. And I was just like, wow, like, this girl's, like, really, really fine. Like, I was just in awe, y'all, because I was just like, this girl too fine to be talking to me. Like, she too fine. Too fine. I'm like, where she been? Because I ain't never seen her around these areas. Like, I was just like, good Lord. Clear the arrow. Clear the arrow. Clear the arrow. Clear the arrow. So... Anyway, after that or whatever, like we about to leave. And she's like, oh, you feel me? I'm like, yeah. So she's like, follow me real quick. I'm like, follow you. Hey, my hand. At the time, I'm like, ooh. But I was like, girl, she's trying to kill you. But nah. So I ended up following her. We went to like a parking lot or whatever just to talk for a little minute before I headed back home. So she headed back home. So <laughs> she basically asked me, y'all, in my car. She was like, so, have you ever kissed a girl before? I'm 
like, yeah. So then she like darts me and we just start like kissing or whatever. And I'm like, oh, this is how the girlies get down. I looked over to the left. This is how the girls get down. So I'm like, she, fuck it. Like, hey, cause she was fine. I was looking good. So I'm like, why not? Boom, boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Um, But no, nah, it was just that. We just kissed. Nothing else happened. It was the first time we ever saw each other. So no, nah, we weren't going down like that. So that was how we first met. It's really weird, but like, that's literally how we met. Like we, we, she shot her shot at me on Twitter. Well, I kind of shot my shot at her on Twitter, and then we met up that same day. So that's After how that we time, um, we started going on dates a lot. So we were going on a date like every weekend, just to like kind of get to know each other, stuff like that. It was really cute because I've never really been spoiled like that. So I was like with my baby daddy, you know? But it was cool because it was just like, we was kidding it like girlfriend, like not like girlfriend, girlfriend, but you know what I'm saying? Like best friends, like we was just kicking it. So we have went on a few dates and everything. Everything was cool. We would talk every day, FaceTime each other every day. Um, Literally everything was just like in sync. So then we found out we was the same sign. <laughs> and literally like everything I like, she like is the complete opposite so like i celebrate holidays and stuff she don't celebrate holidays you know i'm leaving holidays she really barely celebrate all damn birthday so it was just like those kind of things we were like yin and yang literally like we intertwined with each other but it was like we we were trying to compromise because it was like i like holidays i like birthdays she don't really care for them she like she think they pointless for real like she understand them but it's like she could care less if she had a birthday or not me, I don't play that. Y'all gonna need lives with me on my motherfucking birthday. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how that went. It was cool though, like, she told me about her situation or whatever. I told her about my past situations and stuff. I'm not gonna say them because like, that's none of y'all business, but I did at first. I had a little insecurity at first, y'all, because the bond she got with one of her exes is like really really tight because of the circumstances that they you know what i'm saying so at first i was like i can't compete with that you know what i'm saying I'm like at the end of the day you always gonna have her and then plus they tatted it on each other so I'm wait a damn minute <laughs> what? It's just like i i can't compete with that you know what i'm saying um, but this girl, you remember that? But she kept giving me reassurance, so that's why I was like, I bet I don't got a question, y'all, because you telling me that y'all is not ever gonna be back together for now. Um, this is when it went downhill the first time, it was my fault first time because the situation that I was in with the past situations and I told her about them previously but it kind of caught up to me and I had to just be honest with her about some shit so we stopped talking for about maybe like two or three weeks um and then we talked it out again and she kind of forgave me for it which I don't think she still has forgiven me for that and that's fine but I don't think she has and I'm gonna tell y'all why later on in the end but um you know, we moving forward or whatever. And we went back to being, you know, we kicking it and stuff. Because I was so used to talking to her every day, y'all. So, like, them three weeks was hell for me. Like, it was driving me crazy. I literally, I cut my hair. Like, I cut my real hair. I cut it into a bob. And it grew back. This is not my real hair. But it grew back now, y'all. Like, now my hair is to my shoulder. But I literally cut my hair into a bob last year. Um in the midst of me and her not talking because she was literally the only person I talked to. And it was just like, our bond was just so tight. So it was really weird when we weren't talking for three weeks. Um, but we got back good or whatever. Her birthday comes along. She gets COVID. <laughs> so I had to drop off her gift or whatever. And I made like this cute post and I was like, I'm gonna post this on Instagram. And she was like, I don't care, go ahead. So I'm like, <laughs> we a 
official like the whistle boo because y'all already know if somebody tell you you cannot post them on social media you know where you stand you know where you stand and the fact that she told me i could post her i was like big so i posted her it was going crazy but this is the tea one of her ex-girlfriends from out of town gonna comment on it talking about some take my woman off your page this is not your girl woo -woo 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 -woo. I said, damn, bitch. <laughs> I know you fucking lied. I was like, I can only handle this in two ways. One, pop off on her. Two, delete it and block her. What I did was I deleted the message, like I deleted the comment that she posted because I have a hot platform. You're not going to fuck up my platform and my money being ugly and dusty and trying to start some shit with me relax go converse that shit up with her don't talk to me mm -mm. so i blocked her page whatever so me personally i thought that she knew about it because why would she be even bold enough to come find my page and say some stupid shit like that so it's like i'm not gonna talk to you because i knew at the time i was pissed off and i was like i'm gonna take my anger out on her rather than take it out on a bitch that said something to me. And I was just like, I'ma just fall back for a minute. Cause I'm like, I've been, in, yeah, everybody getting cursed the fuck out today, okay? So me and her end up actually not talking for like a whole week. So I end up going on this party bus and I'm turning, I'm wilding out. You know what I'm saying? I get a text from a different number, it's her. I'm like, God damn, like what? You know, she like, we need to talk or whatever. And I'm like, I bet. I was like, when I get out this party bus, I'll come over there. I was lit, y'all, I was so lit. I was talking shit, I was tripping, like for real, I was tripping. So I ended up going over there, we talked to whatever, and she was like basically telling me like, I should have said something to her when it happened. And I'm like, why? If you and the bitch been talking since you got sick, why do I need to say something to you? You boy got me fucked to the up oh, now. Why do I need to say something to you? No. And I still stand on it. I still shouldn't have said nothing because it's not my place. Check y'all bitches. Don't check me. Check her. Like, that look, she, I don't even know she little. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know how old she is. I don't know because I don't care. But I'll tell you what. The thing about me, when it comes to females beefing with me about something, I don't want to come, but you can never step on my toes. Yeah, somebody I'm talking to or somebody I'm dating or somebody I'm with, take it up with the person that I, that we both messing with at this point. Don't take it up with me. I've never been that kind of girl. I'm not finna hit up no female and be like, you talking to my man, you talking to my girl. No. Save your breath. Save your comments. Save your text messages. Save your phone calls. Save your confronting. And go confront your people. Don't confront me. Because I don't give a fuck. I don't. And that's just a known fact. So I hope that people take that into consideration. If we ever intertwine and we happen to be talking to the same people or happen to be dating the same people at the same time that we both didn't know about, check that nigga, check that bitch. Don't come for me. Uh, anyway, after we talk about it or whatever, everything was cool. Like, we good, you know. We good. So, a few weeks go by and uh, she was supposed to come to my son's birthday party. But she said she was going to go out of town. But before that, before that, my birthday, before that, my birthday, she hyped me up for my birthday so bad, y'all. I was so excited. I was going to go out of town, like everything. Like my birthday was going to be perfect. I ordered clothes and all that. Why we ain't go on my birthday trip? What? I'm on birthday. This is literally the third year that people have said that they planned something for me for my birthday. And it always goes left. So... I was just like pissed off because I'm just like this same shit again. Like I always let people have control over my birthday just for them to make me look stupid or make me feel bad on my birthday. And I ain't gonna cap. I'm still mad about it. I tried. To, I have forgiven her for that, but I'm still pissy about it. Cause I take my birthday serious, and everybody know I take my birthday serious. So it's like this year, I'm definitely like it's me. I'm I'm planning my own birthday. I refuse. To have somebody play my birthday for me because that shit mm -mm, so August never. comes around and um my baby's birthday is in august so i'm telling her about like 
what I had planned for him and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, you can come to the birthday party and stuff. And she was like, oh, I might be going out of town, but I'll let you know or whatever. So I'm like, all right, bet. My baby birthday party comes. My baby birthday comes. I don't get a text saying happy birthday. I don't get a call saying I can't make it. I'm out of town. I ain't getting nothing. Wait, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way. And this, I can call a bitch. Because I love for it. This girl literally went ghost on me, y'all. Like, ghost. Like, vanish. 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 That video I posted of me and her on that date was the first time we've seen each other since August. Since August. Well, I went up to her club for like one thing but then I left but literally the first time we actually like this was in that last video but yeah so at that point I'm like okay now you playing with my baby you playing with me because I don't let people be my kid you know what I'm saying but me and her were getting serious so it was like I felt like it was okay um like I let her be my peoples I met her peoples some of her peoples you know what I'm saying like I literally thought like me and her were gonna be like together forever. Like literally I felt like I had met my soulmate. It was scary. Like you my little yeah yeah. Like the connection I had with her, like I was always smiling, like I just always felt good around her. But then I felt like she was playing with me. Because you ghosted me, you ain't tell me why, but you wanna base us off of communication. Red flag. Then you wanna randomly hit me up in January, which is cool, you know what I'm saying? You know, when we go on a date, we talk, we make amends, we say we're gonna work on shit, and then the shit is still, when we um met up in February, I mean, not February, was it early? Late January, early February, we went on a date. And that's when we kind of like talked about everything and stuff. And I was just like, so I was like, I'm just trying to understand. I was like, what, did you feel like you couldn't be with me? Like you can't see yourself being in a relationship with me. And she was like, yeah, I can. So I was like, cool. I'm like, well, why don't we just try it out? And then she's like giving me all these excuses and stuff. And like, no, because this and no, because of that. And no, because of this. And I'm like, giving her an answer for each thing. She's like, yeah, you're right. I'm like, okay, so what's the problem? Like, what's the issue? So she's like, okay, fine. We can we can give it seven days, like you said. I'm like, but are you sure you want to do this or whatever? She was like, yeah. So I'm like, I bet. So we were technically dating in a relationship, like girlfriend, girlfriend. Um, What was that? Like January. Whenever we went out on that date, that Saturday, that Saturday morning, that's when her and I said that we were like in a relationship, like a real relationship. So the day is going on. I talked to her that Saturday after I left her crib. Then after that, I ain't hear from her no more. I still have not heard from her. Okay, so after them seven days, I was like, yeah, we're not. She don't want me. I, at that point, I felt like I was being used because she admitted to me that she was talking to somebody else that came back home from one of her exes. So she was trying to rekindle that. Cool. At least she was being honest with me about that. While me, on the other hand, I'm not doing nothing. Okay? I'm not doing nothing because I didn't want nobody. I'm like, I'm trying to heal. Come on. From your ass and the past motherfucker. So it's like, you you and him both can actually, y'all be doing whatever the fuck y'all want to do. But it's like when it comes to me and my feelings, I have to take time to heal myself and get myself back together. And then it's like when you come in and you telling me what I want to hear and you being, you know, sweet and stuff to me, it makes me, you know what I'm saying, like... It makes me feel like that's why you being disrespectful. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm okay. just simply asking. I just you're genuine and you're true. And then you do some dumb stuff like this and go ghost on me again. 
trying to play with my feelings, I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? And it's no shade to her, but that's just how I feel. And I'm not taking that back, okay? I stand on that. I stand 10 toes on that. So I took the initiative myself because I'm, I'm, I'm done explaining myself to people. I literally blocked her on Twitter. I unfollowed her and made her unfollow me on Instagram. Her number ain't blocked, but it's on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> Baby, listen, I don't know who need to hear this, but I think you need to hear it. It sure is because I'm literally trying to get my life together. I don't have time for this. I want to mess with you now. I want to mess with you then. I want to mess with you when it's coming in from me. No. I'm not your callback, girl. I'm not your sideline, girl. No, you ain't gonna play me like that. Fuck you thought this was, girl. You I like it, no, y'all. I like it, no. Grown ass woman. Now I make no sense. And it's like, I got love for her. So it's like, I, I can't. I, I can't even be mad about it. Like, I'm mad, but I can't be mad because, like, I got so much love for the girl. And it's like, for her to even do me like that again, it's like, girl, I want to fight you, but you lucky I don't fight. But it's like, I want to beat your ass. This is actually really short. It's not really that long, I don't think. Maybe it might be a little long. I don't know. But the moral of the story is, y'all, like, dating a female is just the same as dating a nigga or dating a dude. It's not a difference. It's not. They're just the same. They will sweep you off your feet, make you fall in love, play you like a rap doll, go back to their exes. Studs love going back to their exes, baby. They go back to all love them just about. I'm ready to go to war for it. I'm ready to go to war. And that's so so. All of them. And then they'll contact you when it's convenient for them because they'll say that they miss you and they want to take you out. And they'll tell you what you want to hear to get something and then after that it's it's a done deal <laughs> you probably won't hear from them again until maybe like five years later five months later so would i recommend dating a girl absolutely dating a girl was fun i got spoiled i had someone to talk to every day i had like literally a best friend like i was really open and honest with her she helped me through a lot she helped me amend relationships with people she she did so it's like i can't give i i can't sit here and try to bash her because she actually did play a huge role in my life so her being in my life definitely was a lesson um because she did teach me a few things and things like that so i would never you know talk bad about her or anything now with our situations and stuff I understand why she treated me like that because of what I did. So it's like everything that she has done to me after what I did, I feel like she was just trying to get get back at me. And that's fine. But the shit ain't gonna happen again, sis. It's not gonna happen again, Pooh. Hey, Monica! Hey, Monica! <laughs> and I'm, I'm standing on that. No, ma'am. None. But, um... No, I would recommend it for sure. Date a girl. Dating a girl is cool. It's fun. Um, it was a vibe for sure. She was fine as hell. She's still fine as fuck. Really, nigga? But uh <laughs> I can't go back, y'all. I can't. I want I if she got her shit together, I probably would go back. Um, I tried to go back. But she wasn't rocking with me like that. And that's okay. So it's just like I'm not gonna chase nobody no more. So I hope y'all like the story time. Um, date a girl if you like. Don't date a girl if you don't like. Um, but I hope y'all like this video about me explaining my first time dating a girl and my experience with that. If y'all wanna know who the girl is, just go check out the video where I went on a date. That's her. <laughs> but I didn't put her social media platforms because y'all is nosy. No. <laughs> But thank you for watching and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe or share this video. Bye, Moody Babes.